Hello, this is Keaton Shrum. I'm the preacher at the Church of Christ in Rise in Arkansas, and I want to tell you about Church of Christ seeing the YouTube channel. Hola hermanos, mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Damaris Flores y los saludo desde la ciudad de Tijuana, en México. Pues yo les voy a hablar de cómo me ha ayudado espiritualmente el contenido del canal de Church of Christ Sing. Church of Christ Sing. Church of Christ Sing. I would recommend this material. I would recommend uh, the channel. And Church of Christ Sing. Just to have that opportunity to spread God's message through song literally worldwide has been amazing. I'm so thankful for Church of Christ Sing. Yo creo que ha sido de gran bendición para la hermandad, tanto de habla hispana como de habla inglesa. Este canal se llama Church of Christ Sing. Great channel. It has so much good content. There are songs in English, songs in Spanish, but there's more than just singing on there. Son muchos y variados y muy bonitos himnos, muy bíblicos. If you look at the end of the videos of his songs, there's always a, a list of scriptures that have to do with the message of the song, and they're all trying to convey a message that comes straight from scripture. Uh, the song is based on the scriptures. It doesn't come only from human feelings, but it comes from the Word of God. What are you waiting for? Get up and be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on His name. What are you waiting for? Jesus is at the door and He wants to come in today. Oh, come They're not complicated, they're easy to sing. They're very good for congregational singing. Ha influido en la vida muchos de muchos jóvenes, entre ellos mi hijo. Mi hijo tuvo la oportunidad en pandemia de escuchar los videos de YouTube del hermano. Ya después él, él mi hijo supo que el hermano daba talleres por Zoom y él decidió eh, entrar. What are you waiting for? El canto de que te detiene ya. What are you waiting for? A song about baptism. Ah, también me gusta el himno que te detiene ya. Es un himno muy evangelístico. Es un himno que llama a las personas que enfoca la importancia del bautismo para salvación. Songs that come to mind immediately uh, when I think of all the songs over the years. Uh, the first one is probably What Are You Waiting For? Um, just because of the message, of course, and also just because um, of how much we sing it all the time. Uh, from everywhere from church uh, to camp that we go to every year and again just what it truly means um, and like the message it has for those we're talking to and also for us to encourage us. What are you waiting for? A great song teaches great scriptural lesson about the plan of salvation and it's just so easily sung it just rolls off the tongue even though it's in 7-8. Who would have ever thought that you could write a song in 7-8 and it just rolls off the tongue? People, people can sing it without even knowing it's in 7-8. But the most important thing about it is that it teaches the plan of salvation very well. And it's memorable, very catchy. It's an upbeat song encouraging those who need to be baptized to do so. And a lot of the songs that we have, invitation songs, do not mention baptism explicitly. And I think this is a really great song for that reason. And also because of the emotion that it transmits. It's not trying to... Uh, guilt sinners into being baptized, although they do need to understand the, the weight of their sin. But the, the way this song is inviting them is to joyfully invite them to answer Jesus' call as he stands at the door and knocks, as it says in Revelation 3.20. Again, it's very biblical. It talks about the concept of calling on his name. A lot of people may misunderstand that and think it's just uh, saying a prayer to ask Jesus into your heart. But the scriptures explain it, and the song explains it as well, that when we want to call in the name of the Lord, we have to follow in the footsteps of Paul and be baptized for the remission of our sins. And even though 
when I was baptized, I, I was 14 years old at the time. I didn't know this song. Every time I sing it now, I rem rem remember when I was baptized because I did. Uh, I was waiting. I was holding off. I was putting it off. But finally, I did make the decision. I'm not going to put it off anymore. I'm going to be baptized. And this song reminds me of that and encourages me to encourage others to do so as well. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Another powerful song is called The Church of Christ. Jesus built his church on the rock of ages. He is the cornerstone. And together he's building us into a house he can call his very own. La Iglesia de Cristo, que enfoca la doctrina bíblica de que Jesucristo es el único fundador, la piedra angular de su iglesia. This song is all scripture. Uh, it talks about he is the cornerstone, he's building us into a house, a house not made with human hands, and neither death nor hell against it shall prevail. It's a great reminder of who we are, of why the church exists, it's all thanks to Christ. And one of my favorite lines says, and the church of Christ forever shall stand. It can be easy for us to get discouraged as members of the church. We can look around us and see how many people have fallen away, how many people that used to be faithful are no longer faithful. Even congregations that used to be large are getting smaller and they're starting to die. It can be discouraging, but we have this promise from Jesus that the church of Christ will prevail. It will not die. It will not cease to exist. It will reach into eternity and we are part of that church. And the church of Christ forever shall stand, a house not made with human hands, neither death nor hell against it can prevail. Yes, the church of the Lord shall never fail. The one that I remember that I love listening to the most back then is the um, the church seminar song that he made for the um, for the seminar for the Spanish congregation. Eh, bueno, el canal de YouTube lo conocí para ser precisos hace cinco años cuando nos estábamos preparando para el seminario en sur de California y yo quería escuchar el canto del año que normalmente se sube en este canal entonces le di clic al link de YouTube que me llevó al canal y ahí fue cuando lo conocí. Jonathan's captured both of those thoughts in song very well, and I appreciate that he's put them out on video. I'll praise you in all that I do, whatever may come. Praising you, whatever may come.
When I am overwhelmed within, He comforts me and calms my soul. My unknown days are known by Him. I leave my times in His control. He bottles up the tears I weep. How precious are his thoughts of me. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For when I wake he's still with me. When midnight comes, I bow my soul, and still my heart for listening, for in the nights as black as coal, God chooses into these to see. Having a song I wrote on Church of Christ Sing is just kind of surreal, I guess. Um, but I'm so thankful to God for this opportunity. Tis only half what he would say. The night is with a blessing is. Because he added the harmony to the song that I wrote and because he uh, arranged it and recorded it, like, now my song is being sung everywhere. Right? Like, just this Sunday, um, a congregation of the Lord's Church in Florida told me that, hey, we sang your song in worship this morning. And, I mean, I live in Wyoming, right? And we sing it here in Wyoming. We sing it in Florida, apparently. Uh, we sing it in California, apparently. We sing it all over the world. And just to have that opportunity to spread God's message through song, literally worldwide, has been amazing. I'm so thankful for Church of Christ. His, his songs will lead me through the night. I'll never go beyond his side. And though I struggle with the wrong, I sing because I know his song. I sing because I know. It has been a blessing for me, and, and I know that not only for me, but also for other brothers and sisters. I was uh, leading the, the singing today in the church meeting, and uh, I saw that the, that the brethren already know the song. And also, I, am, I have not been the only one uh, singing the song, but there have been other brothers and sisters who have been uh, uh, teaching the song and there are more brethren that are uh, singing it right now. Oh, our God and King, shine upon us with your love, filling us with joy and strength. Let your presence shine. Let it shine, oh let it shine. Come and let it shine on us. God the maker of us.
us all. In your voice came forth the world. Let your presence shine. Let it shine, oh let it shine. Come and let it shine on us. Come and let it shine on us. Ivan, uh, we, we just heard your song. What's it like having a complete song? What was it like on the way learning how to do it? Anything you'd like to, to say to us? The feeling that I got uh, when I created the song uh, was, and it's especially now that it's it was finished, um, uh, I didn't know that I could make a song, I could write a song. I didn't even think in the beginning that uh, I could be part of uh, something uh, that could produce uh, stuff like those, you know, uh, composing songs. Uh, most of the time, I, I just sing it. I love to sing, but now I'm starting to feel like uh, writing more or doing more, composing more songs. And it's a very good feeling to, to have, and it's very beautiful, That's especially uh, we're doing it uh, for the glory of God. So uh, I'm very thankful, Brother Jonathan, for your guidance, for teaching us. So that's all I want to say. All right. Praise God. Oof. Cool. All right. Who wants to go next? Okay, Abigail. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw Abigail first. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> um, I just, this has been such an amazing class for me. It feels like I had this like language in my head, but I didn't know how to get it out on paper. Um, and so being able to learn the shapes of the notes um, and just really being able to write down things that have been in my head for forever um, has just been so incredible i really feel like i finally learned how to express the language that had been inside wow um if that <laughs> makes any sense at all <laughs> so um it's just been really freeing and i'm still obviously learning how to write it um learning what goes where uh but the idea that i can grow and learn and finally am able to put out the things that have just been kept in my head for so long is just amazing. Just like a bomb, just like a en el capítulo 12 que nos habla sobre los distintos dones que existen y también nos invita eso mismo invita, se nos invita a, a ponerlos al servicio de, de nuestro Dios
una hora a capela, refresca tu alma con cantos espirituales. It thrills my soul to hear the songs of praise we mortals sing below. And though it takes the parting of the ways, yet I must onward go. I hope to hear throughout a number of days the song I cannot know. They sing in heaven a new song of Moses and the Lamb. I want to hear Awesome instructional videos on song leading and congregational singing that really blesses everybody. Let's say some tips about how to lead the brethren in singing. Talleres sobre cantos donde habla sobre la importancia de alabar a Dios y también la enseñanza de, de leer partituras y mucho más. Muchísimo más que nosotros podemos aprender. Por lo que yo estoy muy agradecido de tener eh, esta página y, con, y contar con este hermano también, el, el cual puede ayudar, ayudarnos para ya sea aprender nuevos cantos y también para enseñarlos a otros con el propósito y el objetivo de que adoremos el nombre del Señor. I always felt like the harmony was kind of this black box. Like it, it was so imposing. Like, oh, I'm sure there's all these rules and stuff that I have to know. And um, what I appreciate about this class is just how simple you made it. Um, and, you know, I, I know there's probably a whole lot more that we could learn about, but you don't have to know all of that to make a song. And I just really appreciate Uh, the time that you put into it. A mí me encanta descubrir nuevos himnos y aprendérmelos, entonces yo disfruto mucho de este canal, aunque no es el único contenido que comparte este canal. También hay videos sobre teoría musical, sobre cómo leer el famoso sistema figurado de notas, y también hay videos sobre, o más bien tutorial, podría decirse, de cómo escribir música en tu computadora. Así como hay predicaciones ahí, un contenido muy variado. Uh, over there you can you can learn many uh, songs for your congregation and also you can learn how to sing. You can also learn uh, about musical theory. So it, the channel has been a blessing for me. I have learned a lot and I know that other brothers and sisters have learned a lot and I know that it can still be helping others. Que estos cantos han sido una herramienta muy, muy útil en mi vida espiritual. Y me gusta ver, uh, escucharlo mucho porque uh, el mensaje es muy bueno. Uh, me gusta escucharlo porque se calma mi alma. Cada vez cuando están en el carro, cuando esa canción se pone en la radio. Like, every time when I hear it, it just makes me appreciate to go to church more often and to um, help learn the Lord of God. And I just want to um, one day probably learn more and probably start composing music for the for the Church of Christ, for um, the English congregation and the Spanish congregation. The songs help us to uh, to know more about God through the scriptures. Basados en la Biblia, entonces al final no es el canto, sino la palabra de Dios que nos impacta a través de los cantos. Nunca deje de hacerlo porque eh, ha tocado los corazones pues de todos los que estamos participando en este video, pero de muchos más. Esta página, la Church of Christ Sing, era para que todos se edificaran y se deleitaran mayormente en lo que es escuchar alabanzas al Señor.
And so for me to wrap up, I just want to say um, I'm always thrilled, like in a way I'm not surprised because it's always like this, but I'm always thrilled that Christians are able to express, you know, themselves, that it's just a matter of learning, like Abigail said, maybe that language, right? Um, but you already have in your hearts because you love Christ so many things that you want to say. And, um, and another thing, by the way, I spent a lot of time talking about this when I preach or teach, but also singing. One of the biggest problems, I think, with singing in the church is that people only sing like when somebody says, hey, open to number 50 and, you know, um, but there are always Christians out there that just love to sing, right? Not, not just because, you know, oh, now it's singing time, but because, as the Bible says, if anyone is happy, let him sing, right? Let, let, to teach and admonish one another and singing. And um, so, again, it's just wonderful to be surrounded, even if we're far away, surrounded by people that actually believe in what the Bible says about singing, and it comes through in your heart. And so it's just a matter of learning how to uh, to get it down on the page. And thank God for things like computers and stuff like that, huh? I mean, they're, again, technology has good and bad in, in it, but um, it, it really, like, I always use the example, I... I like designing things, but I cannot even draw a straight line. So like when the computer came along and I could draw a square and a circle and it looked good, I was like, wow. <laughs> so now there are things like being able to write notes and immediately hear what it sounds like. And I'm also really happy because I can do that because I've been studying for years, but I'm so happy that you can do that even if you barely started. You know, there's, there's so many things that we can jumpstart now to use to make something like uh, a Christian song. So I'm just really happy about that. And uh, personally, I want to thank uh, each one of you guys because you brought the love of God into it. And looking forward to see what, what comes from the songs. God will use them as he sees fit. That's important uh, to remember, right? He'll do whatever he wants with them whenever we offer something uh, to him. Let us serve you in this place. Say. Mm -hmm.